26 years ago, three Japs got together and we had the idea of starting a military modeling show, both trade and competitions, here in Folkestone. The show was launched and here we are, 25 years later, still going strong. Euromilitaire has always been something very special. I feel very proud because the show is still the best there is. Euromilitaire is the top show of its kind in the world. To win the best of show at Euromilitaire is the finest accolade in the modelling world today. People travel from as far afield as Australia, Japan, Canada, America and South America and of course throughout Europe. Their aim is to walk away with the best of show. Whoever holds that trophy up on a Sunday afternoon can truly say that he is the top modeler in the world for that moment. Ah! Yeah, just, just come down for the model show. Yeah. Kind of a little I travel from Mexico City. I'm from Helsinki, Finland. I'm a modeler from Greece. We, we've come from Australia, so I mean, it's, that's how, how prestigious it is. I started modeling very young, as everybody. It was a dream for me, being here for the first time and just being surrounded by the all great modelers. And uh, I got really emotional. I, I think this is my tenth year in a row, and it's a show that if you stay at home, you feel like uh, you're missing something. Comparable to the shows in the States, I've actually found it uh, better attended and a more knowledgeable audience. This show is not about winning the prizes, it's, it's the friends, the atmosphere, shopping, the whole thing. I think it's unique. Uh, the venue is fantastic. I think the fact that you have uh, natural lighting is great. I really think that the judging is more emotional, which is very, very particular. It's been said that it's the fairest competition there is. In the halls downstairs, there are the competitions. And this is one of the things that attracts most modelers to the show. Because Euro Militaire has always been very prestigious as regards the competitions that take place here. I put together the judging teams and the sort of mother goose of the 58 judges that we have in our show today. So they're all very carefully selected to ensure that judges who have particular skills are deployed to classes that they can take advantage of all of their insight and their knowledge and their experience. When I'm judging, uh, I'm looking for, if it's a painted piece, I'm looking for the quality of the painting, uh, the accuracy, uh, tonal shades and whether it fits in with how the person's done it properly. Uh, if it's a sculpted piece, how accurately they've sculpted it, whether it's, it's anatomically correct and also how they finish it off and presented it. And it's an all-round thing rather than just looking at one, one individual aspect. This year I'm judging the, um, the scratch and converted fantasy pieces. And it's going to be challenging because you can't always take into account some of the things that you would normally, like anatomy and fantasy, tends to lend itself quite nicely to quite extreme tonal contrasts and uh, a wide variety of colours and you're not constrained by some of the, the things that you would be with historical pieces like the historical ac accuracy of colouring and, and um, uniforms and equipment. So the fantasy class is, is a really good class to see some really extreme examples of imagination. Um, I've entered actually nine things in the competition this year, one of my most productive years. I believe in quantity not quality as will be seen by my figures. Uh, this particular piece that I have here is a scratch-built one in 48 scale figure of a First World War uh, soldier playing football with a dog. Sculpting is my thing, I enjoy doing that. I do some commercial work and some pieces for myself. I've got two in the fantasy, painted fantasy class. I try and get as much detail as I, I physically can into each piece I do. You know, I don't tend to paint in a really bright way, um, vibrant colours. I, you know, I like weathering, a lot of weathering on my pieces, but subtly done so that um, you know, it looks old and worn, but it doesn't look weathered to the point where it just isn't realistic anymore. I've got um, one which is a scratch-built civilian piece inspired by a painting by Richard Hook, 
because it took about two and a half months for the sculpting and the painting took about a month. I hope to do quite well. The quality is amazingly high and I heard that there's a record number of entries this year, so it's very hard to succeed, but of course I hope for the best. One of my pieces is a Cool Hand Look from the, I think, 1968 movie. There was no figure available of this uh, character, so I just uh, converted from uh, some parts and uh, head and uh, sculpted the rest. Okay, it's a, it's a Waffentrager. It's one of three prototypes overall that were done, uh, uh, I think in 1944. And one of them saw actually a combat uh, in Berlin in 1945. And it's a new connection kit that I put together. I was inspired by this model because actually there is only a resin kit on the market for it, uh, no, other uh, no other kit, and so far I've never seen another one build this model, so in this way it would be unique, so this is something special for me. It's a Panther G from Hungary in late 1945. Um, basically it's a vehicle that's been researched from uh, archive photographs and by a friend of mine, Mirko Beriel, from Hung he's an expert in the battles in Hungary in 1945. Um, he gave me a lot of information to construct the model and the model was basically built from those actual photographs and the historical records of the um, units that used that vehicle. But I converted some of the figures that actually are on the back of the model from, from standard plastic kits. And we've, ta we've taken the standard plastic figure and added uh, details with modelling putty um, and little etch brass items that, that kind of bring them up with a little bit more detail. All of them are established judges in their own sphere. Uh, many of them are international modellers so that uh, they're up to date with the current standard and they know what they're looking for. Thank you ever so much for once again honouring us with your skill as judges. Uh, it's, uh, it, you're going to have one hell of a task today. The standard that I've been looking at is exceptional. The number of models you're going to have to deal with it's also a record, so you've got a massive task ahead of you. It's a very high standard. I hope to, to, to be awarded something in some of the things I enter, but who knows? It's down to the judges in the end. So there's there's yeah. always nice to take you the detail here. Yeah. Yeah. We've got on the table here some contenders. Let me try and pick one up for you. What you can see here is um, some very sharply defined um, edges to the painting where the uniform is. The badges are quite nicely defined. The shading gives a feeling of um, actual material because what you must remember is that we're, we're, what we're doing in, when we paint them is to try and compensate for an overscale light source. The painter has had uh, a good go at the face in, in, in that he's, he's got sweat running down the side of the man's face and where the dust and dirt is caked on his jaw he has sweat runnels on, on, on that as well and so we're looking for this sort of level of, of uh, interest and accuracy if you like. Some single flat figures they're um, beautifully painted a lot of them uh, I mean this is a beautifully painted figure it's nicely presented we don't give many points for the presentation most of the points go for the painting of the figure and when you look at the checks and the, the way the sh folds in the cloth are done this is beautifully painted so this is getting a gold well <laughs> certainly more flats this year than last year a lot more it's growing yeah and the standard this year i think is much higher these are comic sort of figures like they're painted in a comic style they're beautifully done I do think they're airbrushed. I think so, but so we've given those a gold. Look at our work cut out for us. Uh, it's a lot of good stuff, which is a bit daunting, but uh, great to see such a high standard. So, and what we're looking for is just top quality work all around, from construction to painting to subject matter to the X factor, which is just the little touches that separate something from um, being average to being great. So, so I think yeah, we're going to have a busy afternoon. I think we're just doing a bit of a visual cull at the moment, but it's very tough to, to split. So yeah, we, we we'll narrow them down. I think to the probably top dozen. I think that'll be the standouts, and then go from there and work our way down. I'd say we come from Australia, so I mean it's that's how how prestigious it is, and it's still holding that after 25 years, which is uh, certainly saying something. So yeah, but no, it's 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 still the premier show as far as I'm concerned. I mean there are certainly some good ones in Europe, but. 
the last couple of years, it's, the standard just seems to be lifting every year you come here, so it's getting better and better. So we're, we're very, very impressed, Jane. We've got over a thousand entries today. Now, other years we've had, um, last year I think it was 698. In previous years we've had up to 900, but never over a thousand. And so we've got our, our work cut out here. The year we had 900, we were here till 7.30 at night. But you have to give absolutely every figure 100% consideration. So there is no shortcuts. Got to be looked at every single figure individually. So if you work out a minute for a thousand figures, that's a thousand minutes. There's many different styles. Now you can't say that one style is better than another style, because that's just not right. But overall you look accuracy, finesse, neatness. I mean, some people have a tendency to put a very a, a pale complexion on something. Other people like a ruddy complexion. So there's likes and dislikes, but obviously you've got to, you've got to look past that. If it's a ruddy complexion painted well, then that's, that's good. But if it's a ruddy complexion painted not so well, obviously, you know, you mark that accordingly, and so on. So, uh, uh, as I say, we've got our work cut out here. This uh, exhibit just here is of a field mouse and just look at the exquisitely natural way that the wood has been modelled and also the moth that's on the side is absolutely exquisite. We feel that it's going to be rewarded properly. In terms of the sort of thing we're up against, if you look at these three figures we've got over here, which are exactly the same commercial figure, but painted in three different, slightly different styles, but different styles nevertheless, and you'll see what we're up against. Criterion is uh, first uh, the, the, the technique, the skill, but mainly the idea uh, and what is the emotion that the figure is transmitting to you. I mean, every figure is coming from uh, a special atmospheric period and is transmitting to you the right feeling when you can feel the period uh, out of the way of painting, out of the way of the figure is on the groundwork. This one is very original, unusual subject. Um, the expression of the face and the, the unusual hat and the umbrella are giving to this figure something unique and very original. And the technique of painting, uh, the, especially look at, look at the face, all the transition of color, you cannot see brush stroke. Every color is changing without uh, 
you are allowed to see where the color is changing. So this is a, a very high quality painting and very original figure. The second one is totally different. This one is a soldier after battle. So you can see from uh, the eyes, from the uh, expression, and from the way the uniform, the hat is remaining, that he fought the battle. So, I mean, he is transmitting you very well the feeling that he is a tired and may be scared after the battle. What we're doing at the moment is looking at everything and selecting those that we think could get an award and those that, that we think won't get anything at all. So this isn't braided other than we think it would get something and then we're taking the ones that we don't think will get an award of any sort and, and separating them. Then we'll go back and look at these ones again and then start grading those as to what class of award they'll get. The quality of work was just excellent. 
give a lot of importance to uh, anatomy and uh, a human figure, as the, the way it's sculpted and uh, animation and things like that. And the painting as well. But since it's a scratch-built uh, class, we, we uh, give more importance to anatomy and uh, the human figure per se. record amount of entries which is absolutely brilliant hitting over a thousand and seeing so many people enjoying themselves taking a look at the very high standard of work we've got on show here is really quite something it has really been a very successful show worthy of the 25th anniversary it's been very hard yeah so it is a great high standard
everybody is putting together in this uh, Euro military their own experience. So there is a great exchange of experience and this is what we like. And sometimes the show is more meeting than getting the medals. We started at what, three? It's now eight o'clock, so we've had five hours. Now, we're leading up to the final piece of our judging process. Uh, all of the gold medals that are rated as having a good chance of getting the best of show by their individual class judges are now being assembled on the table behind me. And uh, all of the judges that are here assembled will take part in an elimination uh, contest. Uh, we will all examine all of the potential um, uh, show winners and decide which of those uh, we really f foresee ought to be excluded because they don't have quite um, the star quality that the real contenders do. So it's, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit of personal uh, preference and all sorts of things come into it. Uh, but what we end up with is usually a choice of about two or three to finish with. And on that we will then take a vote. Uh, we'll end up with a much shorter uh, short list than the one that's here on the table at the moment, which is virtually every decent gold medal that we've got. You are judges here, and any one of your pieces is on the table. I'm sorry, you're disqualified for voting um, until your piece has been eliminated. <laughs> Have we got all of the contending gold medals? Are all the gold medals here that we ought to be looking at? We have um, quite a bit in the, in the way of uh, in the way of uh, scratch build stuff, but this one I think is what is that a, a modified or a scratch? It's scratch that. It's scratching. It's the new kit that's come out from Stormtroopers. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. painted in scratching, painted by. Uh, that's the kit. Wonderful piece of skin tones and stuff. <laughs> Now, uh, Stuart has won quite a number of, uh, well, at least two best of shows with Holt Trump. And the rest. I, I, I didn't know that. They made so many, but they apparently do. They'll keep him in, keep him in exhibits for the rest of his life. Uh, does anybody want that one, the best of show? Really Doing really jungle is damn difficult. It really is. Best of show for anybody? No. 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 We're getting through them now. Uh, so could that one be popped back, please? Well, I don't think you're going to make it with just one. No, I thought it was That's out. Any, anybody for that? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, now, uh, I have to say that, uh, as, like all auctioneers, I have four proxy votes for that one. So, uh, let us start with a show of hands for each of these pieces. Show of hands firstly, then, if you want this piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And a show of hands if you would like this piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Eight. Definitely a deserved winner, and the, the, the modeler concern has come very close the last two years to getting best of show for 
equally spectacular pieces. It, it was the piece in the show that having gone around everything anyway and had a look at was the stand-up piece. It's hard work uh, and I think people don't realise how much effort and hard work the judges put into really looking at every piece to make sure we, yeah, every piece is given the best opportunity to get an award and it was great fun, really, really enjoyed it. Privileged to do it. Uh, Claire, whereabouts are you at the moment? I need to speak to you, please. Over. Uh, well, as soon as they bring me the gold medals, then we go. Because it uh, should start at three o'clock. Just printing all the sheets out. Oh, right, okay. 70. 70? 70? What, yeah. goals? That is a lot. That is a high standard. The, the Colonel, presumably, is going to be... Yeah, about there, yeah. yeah. The goals, we just make a stack of them. No, don't lay them all out, because we know what they are. Just, you know, just make it, we're not going to get them all on there. So I want a box here for sleeves. To... Sleeves, it's a sleeve box. That's what I need. Yeah, it's a sleeve box. God, you're very lucky. Well, it's just as well. I mean, one of us has got to look beautiful. <laughs> well. That with you, you don't, you don't have to go out the whole spiel. Best Otherwise, you'll be here for about four hours. <laughs> the stage and the best of show is awarded from the stage. Yeah. Are you ready? The 25th anniversary of the Euro Militaire. We are just about to do the prize giving. The class one painted single foot figures up to 65 millimeter goes to Fernando Ruiz Chiano for Godfrey de Ibeline. Fernando Ruiz Chiano. Drama 77 East Middlesex Regiment. David Zabrocki, ladies and gentlemen. With all this gold going back to Italy, they're thinking he's money laundering. show for 2010 Euro Militaire 25th anniversary is Chris Clayton for Clayton's Fair. Never have expected it. Never thought it. Uh, you know, a, f a fantasy class winning at Euro Militaire is just—it's awesome. A couple of years ago, I did a piece called uh, Giant Killer, where we there was a, a warrior that was standing on a, a giant's head, and originally that was going to be a dragon slayer, sort of standing on a dragon's head. And um, for technical reasons, I I went with the Giant Killer the first time, and then I sort of was going through old sketches and uh, looking through old um, sort of notebooks found this idea and thought, yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to sort of revisit that idea, but maybe do something a little more dynamic this time. There's a good couple of months working there, because there's sculpting and there's painting to be done as well, so it's, uh, it's, it's a long old slug, but uh, yeah, it, it, once I start, it, it usually goes fairly quick. So I've entered this class four times, um, and I've, you know, luckily I've, I've been awarded uh, medals for each, each time. I do it because it's something that I, I want to do, and uh, it's a vision that I I have uh, an idea that I have, but I, you know, I never view the, the end reward, if you like. I'm always blown away by the standard, and there's, there's an, you know, I, I just don't know how some people can paint so detailed and, uh, you know, just incredible, incredible. So, you know, I'm always blown away. It, everything could be best to show, as far as I'm concerned. There were a few tears in the eyes, I can tell you. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, oh, I've been walking around pretty much all day in shot, but this is, uh, this is the, the pinnacle, I think. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a good end to a lot of hard work. It's unbelievable, the, the, the qualities in that piece, the, the, lots of subtleties, um, and it's completely scratch built. The, um, the modeler has come very close to getting best of show at Euro Militaire two previous years. 
And so this year, I'm delighted that he's actually finally achieved that. Someone as talented as him you know, deserves to achieve that ultimate recognition. <laughs> finally, for Chris Clayton, he's been a runner-up for many years. Dragon Slayer was just simply amazing. A very worthy winner. An awful lot of work on in that. And uh, it certainly had the majority vote from the judges. The main thing was the dynamism of it. So you had the whole piece of the, the way the movement of the kind of knight, if you want, with the dragon, that piece of movement as well, coupled with the fantastic sculpting and the really good painting, that, that did it, that sold it for me. When people leave, leave the event, that's the piece that will stay in their mind, so I can really understand why that was, just, that was one of the best of shows. It's gone very well indeed. Everybody's put an amazing amount of effort, and it's paid off. This year has definitely been a better show all round, and bodes very well for the next year and future Euro Militaire. Well, I think uh, once again it's it's gone beautifully. Yeah. At the end of the day, if the uh, the prize winners are happy, the traders seem to be very happy. They've had a very good weekend. We're happy, and we're going home for a stiff drink. Roll on next year. <laughs>